What if I told you there is a phone that's under $1,000 now, but when it first came out, it was $1,000. Has six gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of storage, an all day battery life with a 4,000 milliamp hour power battery, Snapdragon 845, aluminum chassis, glass on glass, sound design, as well as charging, along with best display on the planet, and arguably one of the most profound cameras to be introduced this year. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the phone of the year, and my top choice, at least in my, in my opinion, phone of the year. The Galaxy Note 9. Let's get into it. long to tell you guys why the Note 9 is probably better than the iPhone XS Mac, OnePlus 6, whatever phone you can think of. But right now, that's not what this video is about. This video is pretty much just showcasing why I feel and why I know the, oh, I'm stripped there, why I know the Note 9 is the best phone of the year. And I wanted to let you guys know why. With some, you know, pretty decent B-roll, you know me, I gotta do that. So we start off with the first reason, right? Number one, the build. Now to me, the Note 9 showcased a, a build that no one else can touch right now. That glass on glass shower design. I mean, some may argue, well, the iPhone, again, this is, <laughs> this is not me sitting here trying to compare it to the iPhone, but it's just more so me looking at it just from a genuine Samsung fan, right? I like Samsung product, it is what it is. Am I biased to them? No, but I like their product. And to me right now, the Note 9's design is fire, right? Let's, let's take a look at my phone, for example. I have the blue variant. And the blue variant to me has been fire, no complaints. This phone still got, I mean, I've been keeping it in the case and also have the white stone dome glass screen protector on it. Make sure I link that down in the description below. And so far it has really held its own, you know what I mean? I've dropped this phone from some pretty high distances and it has not cracked on me versus other phones. Those phones which remain nameless has cracked on me from a three foot power drop. My point in saying is this, for the Note 9 to have the, is this many features packed into it from the dual speakers to the S Pen and all, and they were able to cram all that into a design that is still um, aesthetically pleasing, still elegant, but still lets you know I'm a big powerful device. I feel like they're not that at the park. That wasn't a pun, I'm, I, I'm in a park, but it, was, it wasn't a pun. I, I, seriously, it wasn't. they kept right and did right to me. Honestly, I'm gonna put these two kind of like in the same little bracket right now. I don't know why, but I am. We could be unorthodox if you want to. That's gonna be the display and the camera. Now, I don't know why I'm putting these two in the same bracket, but to me, these are two of the most standout features on the Galaxy Note line itself, right? So you got the display. Now, granted, they may argue that another phone has a better display, but to me, the punchy colors, the contrast, and the way things just pop on that display, makes everything just look almost vibrant like and like really true to life. Now some may argue they don't like the saturated display, but to me, I love it. Even if you look at some of my photography, my photography is really heavy saturated within colors. I just like colors that pop to me. I like seeing vibrancy and I feel like the display on the Note 9 brings that and some. And I also feel like that translates well on camera because when you take these photos and you look on the, on, on the camera of what the picture you just taken, it almost seemed like, you know, the display is even enhancing this picture even more. Now, I'm pretty Sure, obviously there is post-processing going on in the background to make the pictures pop even more, but it wouldn't really look as good if it didn't have a display to complement it, to go with it, you know what I mean? Now we're gonna move on to, we're gonna discuss software and then we're gonna kinda touch on my closing thoughts on why this phone is absolutely phone of the year. Now look, don't get me wrong, I know I'm sitting here really glorifying this phone so it can seem more than what it actually is, but and the, honestly, the truth is, I'm not. Like, I've been using this phone since it came out and I have yet to find a phone that can really compete with it on the level that Note, the Note 9 bring. I mean, it checks so many boxes. It's like, this is actually the best phone of the year that has come out from the huge display to the great camera, to the battery life, to the speakers, to the, S Pen, and I haven't even really touched on the S Pen because it's so, to me the phone delivers more than just the S Pen experience. I mean, don't get me wrong, the S Pen is definitely part of this equation, but I still feel like the Note 9 checks so many boxes that a lot of phones can't, I really feel like it's in a league of its own. But that kind of brings me on the software. Now granted, the software is definitely not perfect, but it has come a long way. Samsung experience has definitely come a long way. Now I can say for me, I don't experience lag. I just don't. The only time I experience lag is honestly when I uh, pull down a notification shape 
you and I try to go to like a Twitter notification, there's a hang up there. Oh, it just doesn't work. I don't know why. Samsung, if you're listening, you know, software update. Um, but other than that, that's the only, that is the only major gripe I have as far as software is concerned. Now we'll talk about the fact that it's also waterproof, right? Like, <laughs> again, they were able to cram on that into a form factor like this and still have it water resistant of up to five feet into 30 minutes of water. It's pretty impressive. Next, let's talk about battery life, right? Now it's like, uh, why'd you jump there next? Because battery life has been outstanding. I have been asking for a Samsung device for so long. Don't get me wrong, my S9 Plus is still good, got great battery life, but it's not matching the No 9 battery life, baby. Like, I'm, <laughs> then on top of that, it's wireless charging and fast charging on top of that in both regards. Now let's move on to the storage. Now to me, I feel like that's a big thing, right? Because storage is a huge thing for me. Now the storage on the Note 9 is crazy. I've been able, I've downloaded so many photos, so many videos I do for my work. Uh, if you guys didn't know, you know what I'm saying, your boy is the actual videographer. So you wanna book me, make sure you hit the link down in the description below or just go to my Instagram page and hit the button and say book. Shameless plug. The storage options to me has been great. Six gigabytes of RAM paired, 128 gigabytes of onboard storage to me is a good enough combination whereas and I'm cool with that. That should be like the new standard, the new minimum. Any phone coming out with 64 gigabytes right now, <coughs> Google Pixel 3, should stop. They should just, <laughs> stop while they can, stop while they ahead. So we've covered, we've covered build, battery life, camera, display. We touched on speakers a little bit. I mean, the speakers do sound fire. For those who don't know, the S Pen can control your phone's media so it can pause and play music. You know, just FYI. Uh, you name another phone that can do that. In closing arguments, I, you know, I know you guys are gonna go crazy in the comment section to say, you know, the Poco phone or the OnePlus 6T. Uh, a lot of these phones offer these same, same uh, similar features that the Note 9 has at a very ch uh, cheaper price point. But right now, if we keep it 100, if we just look at the phone right now, you probably can find a Note 9 on sale for at least like around maybe, I don't know, 700 to $800 or maybe even cheaper depending on when this video comes out around Black Friday. Granted, these phones can offer a similar experience but there's a difference between a similar experience and then the Samsung experience. Samsung, my, my experience with Samsung has been met by no other phone yet. Um, I feel like Samsung still brings dope products year after year. Not, and I'm not saying that to kind of ride their coattail because they do have some questionable products, uh, just like any company. But for overall, I feel like their, their scorecard, their average, their average of bringing out quality products year after year is definitely up there and within a 90 percentile. But y'all know me, man. I'm always up for a good debate. If you feel the Note 9 is not your choice for phone of the year, you let me know which you, what phone you think is phone of the year. Or maybe I should do this. You know, maybe I should revisit this and come up with a, a, a better selection. For right now, as it stands, Samsung Note 9. That's my daily driver. And also my phone of the year, man. If you guys enjoyed this type of video, I mean, this is my first time kind of doing like a vlog and experience while doing kind of, I guess you could say a review. But I have other features like that on my channel, man. So make sure you click somewhere on these boxes, depending on where it drop. And uh, I promise you, you won't be disappointed. So make sure you subscribe. It's your boy, Sean. Be nice and I'm out. Deuces.